Okay, we are moving right along. This is actually the first part of Lesson 2, Internal and External Forces. You're going to learn what um, they are. You're going to learn the difference between conservative and non-conservative forces and how this relates to mechanical energy. First of all, we can classify forces based on how they affect mechanical energy. They either will increase or decrease. They will, they will either change the mechanical energy, increase or decrease it, or they will not affect the mechanical energy at all. And the force, first type of force we're going to look at is internal forces, and that is a force that does not change the mechanical energy of an object. Um, these forces are gravity, uh, electrical, magnetic, and spring forces. And for our um, unit here, um, we really don't deal with the electrical and magnetic forces, so we'll be dealing with gravity and spring forces, our internal forces. So they will not change the total mechanical energy of an object. So as I said, internal forces do not change the mechanical energy. The law of conservation of energy holds. That means, well, it holds regardless, but for this specific system, um, we're not going to be having energy entering or leaving the system. So if you have, uh, like with the pendulum, when you start with potential energy, then that will be converted to kinetic energy, and then as it swings back up, back into potential energy. But there's no input of extra energy during that process or um, loss of energy. Um, energy can change form, okay, like from kinetic to potential or potential to kinetic, but we will not um, increase or decrease the energy of the system, mechanical energy of the system. External forces will change the mechanical energy of the system <coughs> when work is done by it. Um, and your external forces are applied, the applied force, uh, normal force, uh, the tension force, friction, and air resistance. So what you need to understand here is when network is done on an object by an external force, the mechanical energy can change. Um, work will be positive if it gains, if the object gains energy, and work will be neg negative if the object loses energy. Okay? Um, positive work is when the force is in the same direction as the displacement. Negative work is when the force and displacement are in opposite directions. So the work done on the object will be equal to the change in mechanical energy. These are sometimes called non-conservative forces because the total mechanical energy does not stay the same, whereas your internal forces are called conservative forces. So when we look at positive work here, we say that work is done so the displacement is in the same direction as the force. And so here a fellow is pulling a gal on a, some type of a surfboard. And he's pulling in the same, the, she is being displaced in the same direction that the force is being applied. And so that is positive work. That's a gain in mechanical energy. Okay. Negative work is when the force is in the opposite direction of displacement. So in this little toy car, it's going forward and the person is pulling back on it or holding it back with a, um, with a force, slowing it down perhaps, uh, making it stop perhaps. And so in this case, mechanical energy is lost because it's negative work. The force and displacement are in opposite directions. Um, and then we looked at this roller coaster, um, this uh, site here, and this will help you for next week.